It's our pleasure now here on GCR to be joined by a new Maryland Terrapin. He had an outstanding season this year at Belmont, made the decision to continue his collegiate career in College Park. We welcome in Jacoby Gillespie, who's with us on GCR. Jacoby, it's Glenn in Baltimore. It's great to chat with you, man. Thank you for taking the time for us. Yes, sir, for sure. Everything good? I, I imagine like this has to be exciting for you. I know... You know, there's nothing disparaging or anything about the past, but, like, just the excitement of moving up and coming to the Big Ten. How good are you feeling right now? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely super exciting for me. I mean, I can't wait to get down there and be with all my new teammates and coaches and stuff. So, yeah, it's definitely been super exciting. Jacoby, walk me through the whole process, right? Like, you – obviously, you're having this outstanding season at Belmont. At some point, does it strike you, hey, man, I'd, I'd like to test myself. I'd like to maybe – you know, be doing this at the highest level moving forward? I mean, yeah, I definitely had some of those thoughts in my head, but I was just trying to finish out the season, do as good as we could, and then then uh, think about it, talk with my family, and just figure it out. So you end up making the decision, and you hear from – it seemed like you were hearing from everybody, Jacoby. Like, I kept yeah. looking on social media, and they'd be like, list of schools Jacoby Gillespie has heard from. And I was like, why don't you list the ones he hasn't heard from? Because <laughs> it felt like it was everyone. Um, what, what, yeah. what was important to you as you were going through this process and trying to decide where you wanted to end up, and then why did it end up being Baltimore? Or, sorry, Maryland, obviously. I mean, I, I mean, I definitely wanted to win, but I also wanted to have a high impact and wanted to be around a good group of guys, coaches and teammates. So, And when I visited Maryland, it kind of just felt like home. Just like they were all so welcoming and family, and it felt like family. So that was really the main thing. And I just we have a good group of guys coming in, I feel like, and I feel like we can really win. Did, did you have any connections with anybody here before that? Uh, my AAU coach, he he played with uh, Ricky Harris back in the back okay. in the day. All right, so yeah, there's a connection. All right, and so th- th- yeah. is that how sort of that got going? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Awesome, man. So Bobby was talking to Ricky, and look at and look at how things worked out, right? Um, yeah, it's crazy. It, it is part of it too. We all saw the season that Jameer had last year for Maryland, and it was you know obviously it was a tough season on the whole. But it looks, you know, it, I think what's been clear the last couple of years is the opportunity that exists for a point guard here at Maryland um, for being yeah. sort of that guy. W- was that something that jumped out to you? Yeah, that definitely played a big part in it, too. I mean, just seeing how Maryland's just known for point guards, I definitely just wanted to – definitely caught my attention, and I knew I could I could be the next one. That's cool, man. Jacoby Gillespie is with us here on GCR Jacoby, you know, was there any? You say it's a place where you could win. Somebody might say back, "Well, heck, that you know that was that was that was tough last year for Maryland." What what gave yeah. you the confidence? Obviously, Derek Queen coming into the mix, but like, what gave you the confidence that this program's ready to take a step forward after having a tough year last year? I mean, yeah, we got Derek Queen and Rodney Rice, but also just the coach's vision. He he knew what he was what what the reason for all the games they lost last year. He knew what he was missing, and I feel like he's going to find that, and I feel like he's going to be back winning. So we know that Maryland, the one thing that wasn't an issue for Maryland a year ago was their defense, um, as yep. they, they were relentless. Is that something that you pride yourself on and say, yeah, I, I, I can do that. I'm good with playing. I want to play both sides. Like I want to be uh, a tough, hard-nosed defender as well. Yeah, for sure. That's what That's what gets me going, I think just starting off on, on defense, playing as hard as I can, that, that really helps my offense. So it all starts on defense. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Jacoby, so I, we got to get some background here. You're, you're a Tennessee kid through and through. Like, it, it, is just getting out and seeing make, like another part of the world something that you were ready to do at this point? Yeah, I feel like it definitely is. I mean, I love Tennessee, but I, I've always liked just exploring. So what, did you know anything about this area? Like, w- was it something where – you know, do you own a coat? Like, I feel like these are the questions I mean, that you have to ask yourself yeah, when you. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna have to get used to it for sure because <laughs> I'm not used to um, being in the cold like that. But yeah, it's just I think I'm ready for it. I think I'm I'm ready to try something new. As I as I was diving in on you, Jacoby, um, I I came across the the famous uh, alley oop 
from when you were in high school, the bounce pass that you yeah. finished off. Um, is this something that you would like to recreate at some point? Is this something that like maybe during practice <laughs> you've asked other guys to try throwing a bounce pass into an alley oop? Yeah, for sure. I've definitely uh, done it uh, in practice, though. Is there? But it, that'd be too hard to do. In a I was gonna game. say, is there any chance that we could see it come out at some point, or is it just not like this is really a once in a lifetime thing? Yeah, that's really like probably a once in a lifetime thing. <laughs> is it your okay of your basketball career? Is it your favorite in-game moment? Because obviously, like big wins, like those things stand apart. But it, is that your favorite, I mean, or, or is there another shot or something that you're particularly proud of? I mean, I won two state championships in high school, so yeah. I mean, I would say th- those, but that was definitely the best like play. Yeah, individual play, I mean, right? Like, yeah, that, that was definitely. Dude, that's one of the wildest things I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. Had you guys had you guys yeah. worked on that beforehand, or did it just happen? Uh, no, it really just happened. Wow. We've never, we've never worked on that, dude. Okay, so the, for the other side of it, where you're going up for the dunk, was there any part of you, like as you're doing it, like holy hell, did he really just do that? I mean, yeah, I thought, I thought that as soon as he he did it, but I was like, I gotta go get it now. Man, I, it, it it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> like it, it's an incredibly cool thing that you will have for the rest of your life. We're chatting with Jacoby Gillespie. <laughs> Uh, here on GCR, he's coming to play basketball at Maryland. So, Jacoby, on the whole, what what if if somebody hasn't watched your game before? What do you what would you want them to know about you, as far as just everything that you bring to the floor? Um, I mean, just that I'm gonna always play hard on both ends of the ball, and I like to get others involved, and that really that really helps me uh, score the ball. So I like to get others involved and play hard on defense and that just really helps I feel like it helps the overall team have you had an opportunity you mentioned you know Rodney Rice coming in too have you had a chance to link up with any of these guys yet like even trade tax get to know these guys at all uh no I have not I mean I've traded text with uh Derek and Rodney and uh DHS okay that's really that's really it so far. What about as far as so like obviously Rodney was first and you came in. Did you find have you found yourself like maybe trying to do any more recruiting to help like land anybody else to try to get the team? Yeah, in? I'm, yeah, I'm definitely doing some uh, recruiting on my own. Is there is there anyone sure. in particular that um, you've been working on? I mean, yeah, I want I'm trying to get uh, Chaz Lanier down here so. Because he's from Nashville, so I'm trying to get got it. That you makes, know Chaz Lanier. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Like that makes sense. That's a yeah. that's a connection that you would be able to work on. How, how you know yeah. you, you say it's something that you want to win, right? Playing at this level, that's a big deal. But w- w- the part of it, like going to the tournament and having that chance to make a run, how important are those things for you moving forward? Yeah, that's super important. I mean, that's why we play. I mean, to win games. So I feel like I definitely want to get to the tournament that's always been a dream of mine just watching watching the tournament so that's definitely something I want to play in you know it would be obviously it would be great news for everybody involved here uh are, are you a seafood fan whatsoever like have you you know I, I'm guessing down there that you probably haven't had like steamed crabs ever in your life before uh yeah I have oh okay all right yeah, I love seafood. Oh, that's perfect, right? Like this is a perfect fit then for you up here. What's your yeah, yeah. what's what's your favorite <laughs> seafood? Um Yeah, I would say crab legs, but okay. I love shrimp too. Okay, this this works, man. I dig this already. <laughs> this is this is perfect. <laughs> um okay, so away from basketball, what else should we know about you, Jacoby? Like when you're not hooping, what does life look like, maybe like on a Friday night or just when you have some downtime? Um, I'm I'm either watching uh, TV shows or playing the game, so I really like to chill inside. All right, what's what's? Give me a show that you've been watching recently. Um, well, there hasn't really been any out recently, but my favorite show is probably like Stranger Things. Okay, I mean, like, it, it, look, everybody can agree on it. So are you are you good with the idea of them continuing Stranger Things without Millie Bobby Brown if she just does one more season? Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I, I am actually. Okay. All right. I feel like I, I, I love, you know, like everything about, so this is the weird part for me. I'm not like a huge sci-fi person. Like I love the, Jacoby, please, I'm 40, right? So like all of the retro mm-hmm. stuff really does it for me. Like it calls back, I remember like life when it looked like that. Um, the sci-fi <laughs> stuff is nuts. Like it's, it's, yeah. it's crazy to me. But I love all the throwback stuff, and I love the characters and the interaction between those kids and, like, the friendship part of it. To me, is just as good yeah. as all the sci-fi stuff. Yeah, for sure. All right, Jacoby Gillespie with us. Just another minute here on GCR before he gets ready to come play basketball at the University of Maryland. Jacoby, um, how much, too, as part of this path is your belief in what you can do playing at the highest level, that, like, Maryland can help you get to that place where you have a shot at making the NBA? Yeah, I mean, coach just told me like, and showed some of the situations I'd be in when I'm the, when I'm on the court. So, and I, I really like the the fit. So I feel like it would I would just fit right in and be able to play how I play. And then I, I imagine you know th- it's hilarious. I'm about to say this about someone who's six one when I say undersized, right? Because like, lol, I'm yeah. undersized. But like, how much of that has maybe c- given you like a chip on your shoulder to try to constantly prove people wrong? Because, you know, everybody says, like, you got to be 6'6 now in order to be able to play at the highest level. Yeah, I mean, that that's just not true because we've seen it um, happen a lot. But if you're if you're an undersized guard, then you definitely have to show how, how tough you are and play as hard as you can on the court. So it's definitely both sides. I, I saw like, some – I think I saw somewhere that – was Chris Paul the guy that you always looked up to growing up? Yeah, yeah, it was. And kind of the perfect encapsulation of exactly what you can be, right? Yeah, yeah. You got that. Sure. I mean, who's, you know, he's got that wicked mid-range jumper, man. Like that thing just lulls people to sleep. Yeah, he's Dude. He's crazy. It's nuts, <laughs> man. It's nuts. All right, Jacoby, uh what can we plug for you social media wise? Where can Maryland fans be giving you a follow? Twitter, Instagram, anywhere like that. Uh they can follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. And what's and They're what's both, um, Yeah. They're both K-0-B-1-G. K-0-B-1-G. Jacoby, we're really excited about uh, getting you here to Maryland and can't wait to see you on the floor, man. Really appreciate you spending a couple of minutes chatting with us. Thanks so much for doing this, and congratulations again. Yes, sir. No problem, and thank you.